Hello, family. How are you today? Hopefully your day is going very well. I just got done running a mile. That's six laps around the track here at the school, at the college. Yes, I am in school. And I highly recommend it for everybody. I don't care how old you are. Take some classes. It's uh, detrimental that we get attain some goals in life and get somewhere in life. I want to talk about team no bra I'm gonna sit up so you can see what I'm talking about I have no bra on I pretty much wear tank tops and I really like that because I really don't like bras <laughs> to be honest with you sometimes I don't even like clothes especially when it's hot and it's been real hot here um, I did think about getting a, a boob job a breast augmentation at one time in my life I'm pretty glad that I didn't but I don't think it would have been bad if I did but the fact that I don't have to wear a bra and I'm still like you know perky and all that without enhancements and all that you know I think the men like it better this way anyway I'm not saying that I'm with a lot of men but the fact that to you know men are visual and you know a, a lot of guys tell me you know they're not they're attracted to my slender physique so you know they, they like the long legs the long slender uh physique not necessarily the boobs but even i've even had guys who are into boobs be attracted to me it's all a woman and, and, and men just like women beautiful women anyway and i just want to and all the women know who I want to give out, give a shout out to all the women who watching. You are very beautiful and you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be loved. Hello. And make that a reality. Make it happen. So let's talk about some of the things that men like. Uh, men are really into the natural beauty of a woman. And again, I was talking about breasts. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a no bra on or breast augmentation and even if you did have it men like that too but some say more natural is better but you know whatever you do do it for yourself not to you know get the attention of a man or uh get somebody and all that do it because you want to do it and uh i'm with team no bra hello feels good not to have to wear a bra and sweating all under your chest and all up under your boobs and all that but um men like natural beauty and you know I, I really highly recommend going natural with your hair especially if your edges are uh thinning out is 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 due to chemicals and pulling access from weave um, you know, just let 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 yourself be. Let just let your hair breathe. And we really got to, ladies. We need to really stop using that term, nappy. That is, that should not be a terminology in your your vocabulary because God created you. He created us. There is not a such thing as nappy in God's vocabulary. Where did that word come from? And why is this okay to use it? Why is it okay to put perms in children's hair? You don't see uh, people coloring their kids' hair and other races and things like that. Why do we have to do it? Who, who created this for us? Who made this for us? We're not a commodity, you know? So, you know, at the end of the day, it's all about you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be loved and you love yourself first. You know, that's what it's really all about. And, um, it's all about, man, loving yourself and being natural. And that's where I'm at. And that's where you got to be. That's where you should be at. And, uh, you know, you can't count on these men. You can't count on a woman. You can't count on nobody. You can only count on yourself. You don't owe anybody anything. Your kids don't owe you anything because you brought them into this world. The best gift that they can give you is that they can grow up and be able to take care of themselves. You don't have to go to jail to visit them no courts and all that all you want is for your kids to grow up and be able to take care of themselves so that would be the greatest gift 
to a mother, to a parent. And, um, you know, again, I'm riding with Team Natural. I'm riding with Team No Bra. Hello. And uh, I would like to uh, give a shout out to all the ladies who don't wear bras. <laughs> so if you're one of them, please comment below. Give me a like. You know, subscribe. There's more to come. I want to give away some uh, shampoo bars, Ayurvedic Emerald shampoo bar but the only way i'm going to do that if i start um getting more subscribers so after every hundred subscribers and those who comment will be the ones who be considered the most so um i just want to give you a cheers and a shout out to those who are in getting in shape and walking eating right after i got done running my laps i had a very high protein my husband made me um I guess some type of beef, African beef stew. It was really good. And I had that and the yogurt and ginger water. So that's what I'm doing to, you know, you have to maintain your beauty as well. And the way to do that is through exercise. And I'll just get up and show y'all what I'm rocking. And this is basically my make, make do, makeup, uh, you know mohawk but it's without cutting your hair and I, i'm not going to be cutting my hair to for no the hairstyle that's you know and my hair just grows too fast I, i'm not going to be in the shop i don't want to be obligated in no shop for no just every week and every you know every two weeks to maintain no hairdo because I, I just don't got it like that and even if i did i would love my hair more anyway look at the length and the thickness yeah it's all me yeah so um you know it's important that we as women do breast exams and pay attention to our bodies as well to know uh you know if something's going wrong or whatever you want to be the one to catch it and be in control of that you know we don't let illnesses and things control us it's better that you have the say and deter you know determine um, the way your health goes and I um, you know I'm a nurse I'm gonna be doing a lot more things about bodies ask me any questions if you like me to uh, if you like me to uh, you know have a response for you any answers concerning the body I'm really good with that so medications and all that and they do have an effect on your hair they can make your hair thin they can make your hair fall out medications can make your hair gray um, white um, you know it's just uh, really uh, the way how how you know these chemicals how they react I'm trying to find some light you know I'm always trying to find some light we see how this work <coughs> yeah so um, yeah, it's just all about, man, loving this earth. You know, I just thank God for the trees. You know, let me show you the trees. Hello. Yeah, these are our trees. <sighs> Past trees. I thank God for the trees and for this earth, you know. We're giving so much and we have authority over it. It's just really important that we are responsible. Not just, you know, responsible with our bodies. But how about let's be responsible with this earth that's given to us with the resources. You know, I'm really about, you know, natural habitats. And, you know, if you, you're on my site, on my website, or if you follow me, you'll see. I, I, you know, I do a lot about elephants and giraffes and things like that. Humans first, but, you know... We, we God create made us the caretakers of these animals and it's important that we you know try to you know be a little considerate of them as well so that's one of my stories I'm sticking to it but anyway I just want to uh, reach out and give y'all my nice beautiful smile and I want to see some of you guys smiles too and I want to see you guys smiling today and be happy and make better choices and one of those choices should be enrolling in classes. Start, start taking you some classes and getting ahead in life because um, it's going to be required to have some type of certification and degree status to um, get somewhere. So 
you know, I'm a science major. That's what I like to do. And that's what I, uh, that's what motivates me. And that's where my, my passion is. And, um, you know, you, you got to find your passion so that you can be, you know, happy. So, um, you know, I just wanted to give you that video to encourage you, you know, and, uh, that you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a big world out here. It's a big world and we got to conquer it. And in that, in Jesus name.